Determine the force in members DJ and EJ of the loaded truss. So this is DJ and this is EJ. Look the symmetry of the loading, geometric symmetry and the geometry of the truss. So we use that so that we can conclude that FCD equals FDE by symmetry and also CJ is equal to EJ by symmetry. In fact, JK is equal to GI and so on and so forth. So by symmetry of the loading, the total load is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 0.5 plus 0.5. So 6L. Therefore, there's no inclined load. Therefore, the vertical reactions at A and Z equal to 3L each. So horizontal 0 at A, then that's 3L. That is also 3L. There's no need to set moment at A0, then solve for the reactions because of uh, symmetry, geometric symmetry of the truss plus the loadings. So we compute first the angle that CD and DE make with the horizontal. It is arc tan of 0.5 vertical distance 0.5 over horizontal distance 8. So tangent theta CD equals tangent of theta DE equals 0.5 over 8. So theta CD equals theta DE equals 3.576 degrees. Then we cut this section 1 1. Let's consider forces to the left. Then the members involved are CD, CJ, and JK. Then by principle of transmissibility of a force, we move CD to D. There are two components, but the vertical component passes through J. We plan to set moment J0 because these two members meet at J so that they are not involved. So this is FCD cosine of 3.576 degrees. The other component, the vertical, is just shown but not named because it has no moment about J. So moment J0, clockwise positive. So F equals FCD cosine 3.576 degrees times 10. This is 10 meters distance length of DJ because 8 plus 1.5 plus 0.5 is 10. Then plus 3L, this 3L here, times quantity 8 plus 8 plus 8, 24. Then minus L times 8, minus this L times 16, then minus this L over 2 times 24. So from there, we can solve FCD. It is equal to negative 3.607L. Then let's isolate joint D and draw the FBD. So obviously, FDE equals FCD, but let's still show that they are equal by setting RDH0 or the horizontal component of resultant at J0. So equals FDE cosine 3.576 degrees minus, minus quantity negative 3.607L cosine of 3.576. So cancel cosine 3.576, then FDE is also negative 3.607L as mentioned earlier. Then summation we set RD vertical 0, vertical component of resultant at D0. Considering downward positive, so we have FDJ equals FDJ. Since these two are equal, so plus 2 times negative 3.607L sine of 3.576, the vertical component of each, then times 2 because they are equal. So FDJ is positive 0.4500L and it is positive, so tension. Finally, as mentioned earlier, CJ is equal to EJ. EJ is required, but by symmetry, they are equal. 
So we, we don't need to solve for EJ. We'll just solve for CJ. The angle that CJ makes with the vertical is arctan of 8 over 9.5. 8 plus 1.5 is 9.5. So this is 9.5. This is 8. So arctan of 8 over 9.5. Use your calculator there. I will just label the angle. 40.101 degrees. And since in this section here, considering forces to the left, JK is not yet involved. So the best way, because we found already CD, is set R vertical 0. Result or summation forces Y0, considering all forces to the left. So we have FCD, which is negative. It is upwards, but its sign is negative. Negative 3 point. So we'll, we'll consider 3L first. Then plus FCD, which is plus negative 3.607L, sign of 3.576, the vertical component. Then minus, because this is downward, FCJ cosine of 40.101 degrees, the vertical component of FCJ. Then minus L, L, L over 2. So minus L, minus L, minus L over 2. So take note that if CJ is the only unknown here, solving for FCJ, transpose to the left, then compute the values to the right. FCJ is 0.3595L. So therefore, because FCJ is equal to FEJ, then FEJ is also 0.3595L tension. And that's it.